What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gaming Reverse DL channel. So what do we have today? Today, we're going to be installing emulator bubbles for the PlayStation Vita on 3.60, 3.63, and 3.65. We're going to be using PSV image tools. So what do we need? We will need a PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.60, 3.63, or 3.65. Also, we will need a PSP game, demo or mini, QCMA, PSV image tools, of course, at Silica's GitHub. We're gonna need the Homebrew directory version 1.6. As for the installation, we're going to download PSV image tools. Also, we're going to download the Homebrew directory version 1.6 at hackinformer.com we're going to unsign and extract the PSP game and then we're going to transfer the emulator within the PSP game after transferring that emulator we're going to sign and pack and then we're going to transfer to the PlayStation Vita so wait for the example it's really cool the links will be in the description remember to check my Twitter guys enjoy gamers so we move on to the PC you can see I already have my files ready. Nestor J, CPS2, the homebrew getter, <laughs> and PSV image tools. So we go to Silica's GitHub. I mean, he's been working a lot with this tool. He's making it easier for us. All the time updating, working hard. Thanks, big shout out to him. He also gave a shout out to Gaming Rebirth, you know, just giving him some feedback, giving me shout outs too, so that's pretty cool good partnership so as for me you can see that we have various Windows 32 Windows 64 so I'll be using the PSV image tools front end Windows 64 so I'm going to download it and install so we just give it a moment okay so you can see I already have it so now I just remember to go to silly.cf Silica's page, you know, he's got cool information in there. Remember to, if you guys have anything for a beer, big shout out to him. He's been working hard, you know, remember to donate if you guys can. It'll be pretty cool on you guys' part. Okay, so we move on to hackinformers.com. It's a good source. So he had released this a long time ago and he kept on retweeting it. So it caught my interest. I always wanted to do this. So you can read off the article, you can get PSV image tools, QCMA, also this is the biggest link ever, you will need to get this link, the emulator, so you just click it, it'll open up a mega download, so download that because that will go ahead and give you all the emulators you need already converted. I'll go ahead and leave two examples on my Twitter page. So you can look into the, his article if you get lost. He has great ideas and you can install more information so you can look through his webpage. Big shout out to him, that's pretty cool. So as the, for the file, is the homebrew directory version 1.6. You can see there's all the emulators in there. They're already converted so that they work with the bubbles. So you will need to have the compatible emulator. So just remember, it's really important. So I recommend you guys get this and download it from here. Okay, so now that, let's say we've downloaded our emulators. You can see I have Nestor J, CPS2. So we're going to go to documents, PS Vita, P game. I'm going to choose my profile, which is 3.65. Now I have two games, I have cloned one PSP game so just make sure you have a game or two in there so that you can create your bubble now we're going to launch PSV image tools we're going to select backup manager we're going to unsign and extract we're going to select PlayStation portable remember to select your profile that's my 3.65 profile. Choose account. You can see I have Pit Saddle Clap demo at 90025 and 90026. So I'm going to choose the 90025 and click unsign 
and extract. I'm going to do the same thing for the other game. Unsign and extract. So I just sped up the video a little bit for you guys. Okay, so we're ready. So now we go to documents. P is Vita. Extracted. So you'll see that folder. We go to P game. After selecting P game, you're gonna see 90025 and 90026. Now, now that we have that folder open, we go to our emulator. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have an eBoot PVP. So we can rename this as P, as in Paul, Boot PVP. So that gets the emulator ready. If you download it straight from Tool, from Hack Informer, it's already converted for you guys. So what we'll go ahead and do is we're just going to go ahead and copy. Okay, so we go to the game folder and we select game. And then we select that UXO folder. We go within it. And you'll see I had a P boot. That was my VHBL. So I'm going to delete it. So you're going to see probably your game like the one on the left. So we're going to copy the information from the emulator and paste it directly within that folder. So we give it a moment. Remember to include all your ROMs within it. Okay, so now that we're ready, let's go ahead and do the other game as well. The 90025. You can see 193 megabytes. So I'm going to go to the game folder. I'm going to the UXO. I have my PPP because it was a VHBL. I'm going to delete that. I don't need it. So now I'm going to open my CPS2 PSP folder. As you can see, my eBoot PVP. I'm going to go ahead and rename that to P boot PVP. I think this is pretty cool guys. It's exciting. We're going to go ahead and copy all that. Remember to include all your ROMs. It's really important guys. And then we're going to paste within that game. Okay, so now we're basically done. We're ready. So now that we're ready, go to PS Vita, P game, to your profile. And those two games, I recommend you guys to copy them and or put them in a safe place if you might need them later on. So we don't want to overwrite over them if anything happens. So I created a folder, PSP game backups, 3.65. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and or transfer so that I can keep it in a safe place. If I ever need to go back and reset the game, I already have a saved file. So now we're gonna launch PSV image tools. And this is a pretty cool thing. What it's going to do for us, we're going to backup manager, sign and pack, PlayStation portable, you can see we have 90025 and 90026. So we're going to select sign in pack and select the profile. It's gonna do some cool thing in the background as always. So we just let it be for a few moments. And then we're gonna get packing complete, refresh QCMA. Okay, so we've done that. Let's just do the second one real quick which is our profile, choose account. As you can see, it's a smaller size, so it did it quicker. Hacking completed, refresh QCMA. So that's all we need to do with PSV image tool so we can close it out. Remember to refresh QCMA's database. As always, I do it twice. So we move on to the PS Vita. We launch content manager. Copy content. Kind of exciting, guys. I'm getting super excited for this. 
then we move on to copy from the PC to the PS Vita system. We select applications. We select PSP other. Now you can see 343 megabytes and 195 megabytes. So we're going to copy those two games. You might not have the same game. It might be a different one, like for example, Loco Roco and Pet Saddle Club. So this is pretty cool, guys. This is amazing. Let's see if it works. Look at that. I have my emulator bubbles. I already had two of them, so I created two more. So now I have four. Just wanted to show you guys the example and let's launch that lovely bubble. You can see the emulator is working. This is amazing. Now the tricky part is you need to remember where you put that Nestor J or your emulator within what game. So there you have it guys, pretty cool. Let's test the game. As always it works. Contra. I'm super excited. I don't, we don't really need VHBL. I mean, it's pretty cool to have it too, just in case. You can click the PS button or just exit the emulator and it'll take you out. So let's try the CPS2 Vita. I renamed it. You can see the emulator's working. Let's launch the game to see if it works. There you have it guys, it's working, exciting, this is amazing, hopefully you guys like it, if you like it, if it worked for you, remember to hit like, comment, share with your friends, as always, Gamer for Birth, out.